Sometime during your life, perhaps very soon, perhaps right now, you may find yourself watching a movie, and you will notice that the opening scene of a movie can often be a pretty good indicator of what kind of movie you're about to watch. For instance, the film you're watching started with... Once upon a time, there was a family of cunning little chipmunks who lived in a hollow tree. That film would most likely be a charming, whimsical adventure for the whole family of adorable talking animals that get themselves into all sorts of mischief. A film that started with... Gee, Mom, these pancakes look delicious, but I'm so nervous about going away to Camp Timbertops that I couldn't eat a bite. Would probably be a humorous, coming-of-age story about a group of giggly girls spending the summer at a sleepaway camp with hilarious results. And a film that started with... Hey, Larry, look at this catch of men I got from a birthday. Would be a fun and inspiring tale about a ragtag bunch of sweaty boys who win the big game and have a pizza party afterwards. And, if you liked whimsical adventures, hilarious results, or pizza parties, you would know that you were watching the right movie. But alas, the opening scene of this film is... And you should be able to tell immediately that the story is very different to the examples I gave you. This is for the simple reason that the story of Violet, Klaus, and Sonny Baudelaire was so very different than any other story. You should be able to see at once that you are watching the wrong movie altogether. There are no adventures, no hilarity, and certainly no pizza. Instead, this is a tale of dangerous machinery, horrible accidents, mind control, and a bad casserole. If you wish to avoid this unpleasant tale, I would suggest you stop watching this film any longer, because the opening credits are about to roll. Are you ready? The music's starting. I can hear it. It's happening. Here they come. Because I heard Poultryville. Well, this is the finite forest, so we must be getting there. See that black lichen on the trees? If you eat that, it'll kill you. That's great, Klaus. Sonny, don't do that. What a lovely forest. <coughs> I think you children will have a good home here. I hope you do anyway, because I've just received a promotion. I'm now the vice president in charge of coins, and from now on I'll be busier than ever. If anything goes wrong with you here, I'll have to send you to boarding school until another foster home can be sorted out. So please, be on your best behavior. That means no more stealing. Yes, Mr. Poe. No more making a big scene in public. Yes, Mr. Poe. No more running away. Of course, Mr. Poe. Do I have your word? Yes, Mr. Poe. <laughs> So what's our... What's our... What? What's our new guardian's name? His name is Mr... Wo... Z... Qui... I can't pronounce it. Well, let me have a look. No, no, if it's too complicated for an adult, it's much too complicated for a child. Yeah! Well, he'll tell you what to call him when you get there. You'll find him at the main office of Lucky Smells Lumber Mill, which I'm told is just a short walk from the station. Aren't you coming with us? No, I'm afraid the train back to the city only comes once a day, and I don't have the time to stay the night. You'll just have to make your own way. What if Count Olaf shows up? He could be anywhere. Not a worry, children. I've given Mr. Your new guardian a complete description of Olaf, so if he does manage to find you... Mr. He will notify the authorities. Class, class. If there is any problem, you know how to reach me. That looks like the mill over there. 
Let's go meet our new guardian. Or at least figure out how to pronounce his name. <gasps> Check out the neighbors. It... it must be a coincidence. How could it not be? Bunny. Hello? Hello? It is much, much worse to receive bad news in writing than it is to simply be told bad news. When somebody tells you something bad, you hear it once, and that's the end of it. But when you receive it in writing, every time you read it, feels as if you're receiving the bad news again and again. Klaus, what's assiduous? It means hard working. That's not encouraging. Please report to work the following morning with the other employees? Employees? But Mr. Poe didn't say anything about us working here. That's what the note says. Look, the map here says that we're going to live in the worker storms, which are straight over there between the storage shed and the lumber mill itself. But I don't want to live over there between the storage shed and the lumber mill itself. Admittedly, neither do I. But hey, you never really know. There could be some interesting manuals for you to read, or something. Yeah, and there could be machines for you to look at. Snivy! Exactly. You can bite all the wood you want. This could turn out to be a great place to live. You never know. But I do. I always know. I know, because I went to Lucky Smell's Lumber Mill. I wrote all of my findings down in the book upon which this dreadful film was based. And I'm recounting their miserable tale to you right now. I know. And now you know. And I wish I could somehow tell the Baudelaire's that I know what they don't know, so they could also know. But I can't because, you know. No one's knocked on this door for near on 14 years. Um, how do you do? My name is Violet Baudelaire, and this is my brother Klaus and our sister Sunny. Well, you must be lost. Not if this is the workers' dormitory, we aren't. It is, but we're not supposed to have visitors. We're not visiting. We live here now. You're gonna live here? Sit down! We're employees. Children, working in a lumber mill is a very difficult job. Most of the people who work here are grown-ups. But I guess if the boss says you're working here, you're working here. Come inside, please. Now, my name's Phil, and these are the other workers. You'll get to know them a little later. Guys, we've got some new workers joining us today. Say hi to Violet, Klaus, and Sonny Baudelaire. That can't be right. They're just children. I know, but the boss says they're working here, so they're working here. Now... I guess you'll get acquainted with everybody over dinner, so I guess you'll have to meet the foreman tomorrow morning when we start work. Tarika. A foreman is someone who supervises the workers. Is the foreman nice, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's funny? Is the foreman nice? Honey, the foreman's about as far from nice as anyone can be. He's terrible. He's revolting. He's the worst foreman ever. Well, yeah, he's pretty bad. The other guy foreman first time, he was a pretty okay guy. But one day, he just stopped coming to work. The new guy foreman Flacatono, he's very mean. You kids best stay on his good side if you know what's good for you. He hasn't got a good side. Now, now, don't be so quick to judge. Everything and everybody on this earth has a good side. Now, come on, let's go have some supper. Somebody's an optimist. Optimist is a word which here refers to a person, such as Phil, who thinks hopeful and pleasant thoughts about everything. For instance, if an optimist had his left arm chewed off by an alligator, he might say something like, Oh man, sure is lucky that I'm right-handed. Whereas the rest of us 
would probably say something more along the lines of... Yeah! Eat up, kids. I know it ain't exactly the veritable friend's diner, but it'll keep your strength up. Hey, Phil. Uh-huh? We were wondering, what's the boss's name? Nobody's been able to tell us. Hmm. I don't recall. Pretty sure it starts with a G, or maybe a J. Anybody remember the owner's name? Dale, you went up to the office a while back. Remember that time? Phil, that was three years ago. I know, but do you remember what he said his name was? Uh, Mr. Something. Mr. Something? Gee, that's real helpful, Dale. Come on now. It's not his fault he doesn't remember. Shoot, I barely even know what the guy looks like. Wait, you mean you never talked to your boss? Nope. Hasn't visited the dormitory in six years or so. He lives way over on the other side of the mill. We see the foreman all the time, but never the owner. <laughs>